Hello friends, Sam with Graham doing TCGs yet again. You know what I have missed quite a bit. I hate to say that uh, my ability to get into it at the local level has kind of died off. But what I can do is still open some. My, I still have one box of Ravage Lands unopened. That's not going anywhere. But I figured, you know what? Let's crack this Bountiful Harvest and this Frontiers that I have. Um, I know that for Legion's Realms at War, I haven't actually said it out loud yet, I don't think. There's a new set coming soon that I'll have to take a look at a little bit of. And man, I really do want to pick up some more Empires on the Rise, too. Um, it has been entirely too long since I took a look at Legion's. It's just so tough. Lord Taylor, there is my box topper. It's an ancient relic. I apologize for my part in that. But it's just so hard when there is not really a local scene in the immediate area um, for me to play. So I know that I have certainly not helped matters any but um it is certainly a game that i miss so we're doing the bountiful harvest first these are of course all bounty realm cards in this set you gonna you gonna work with me here no so we got a rare by order of the reliquary Bountiful Harvest was always one of those trickier ones. I mean, A, it's all Bounty Realm stuff. But, uh, there's lots of rares and whatnot. Um, but if you pull something fun like a Seasons of Magic Collection, the art in this set was always incredible. Um, but if you get Saranasada, am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. I apologize. Lord Taylor, let me know. That, of course, being a reference to Taylor Howe, the creator. I always. This is probably, at least from the first two sets, I think that is my favorite piece of art. I just think that's really cool. Really good looking. Bountiful Harvest was fun. It was just the little boxes. Uh, five packs per little box. Great Feast Hall. That was always a fun one too. So it's, it's a nice little taste. Nothing overly expensive. Just get, get a couple cards. And they can be used since they're Bounty Realm in basically any deck. And loot the Reliquary. So yeah, nothing, nothing wild in uh, our Bountiful Harvest. Ooh, there we go. We got Anoskalus. The uh, Demon Warlord box topper there. That's a cool one. I mean, it's not an angel. We all know from back when uh, this was more front of mind for me. The angels were where it's at. I see something shiny already, so that's fun. Let's see, how do we want to do this? We'll put the commons over here. Uncommons there. Bolster. Fallen Forces. That's a pretty card. Fallen Forever. Whispers of the Grim. And, ooh, Scorch Realm. So that's one of the Realm Veil cards. Cool. They can have their own little slot as well. We'll put the rares up there. And, so that when we get something truly spicy, it can have that, that, that middle slot. But yeah, it, it, it's one of those things that I regret that I wasn't able to 
get more people in my area like hopped on board with this game um, so that I was still able to have people to play it with in person um, on the regular. Ooh, there's an angel card for us, a Virtuous Oasis, a Unified. And I still love the borderless cards in this set. It's just one of those things where people, I guess, kind of hit saturation for the uh, games they could afford. Um, ooh, Essence of Legend. I like all the essences. Michael's Proclamation, another cool looking card. And a lot of the stores, like anybody I thought to, had kind of been burned, particularly by MetaZoo. Now, we all know that I feel infinitely different. Ride the Rainbow Wind. Ooh, in the Prayer Gauntlet, in the Borderless. Y'all know I love Legions, and I didn't so much love uh, MetaZoo. So I'm not... I'm not making the comparison per se. I love that halberd. Um, and the undead essence. And there's my angel realm. But a lot of people had that. Like I tried to be, oh yeah, new game. Especially when the uh, Empires on the Rise Kickstarter came out. But so many people had already been burned. I love the art on this card. Seraphim Gladiator. I mean, of course, it's an angel card. Blood Magic Totem. Um, but I had a hard time getting more people to buy in because of stuff like MetaZoo. A lot of the Kickstarter games, really. Um, which was then disappointing to me because Sorcery was able to... Ooh, Windmill of Corpses. I feel like that was a pretty good one. I didn't play Undead. Um, a lot of people jumped onto Sorcery, which didn't keep my attention. So I just find all of that kind of wild and interesting. All right, there we go. There is our first better than rare. That is a Renown. That is the Titan Shimmering Pool of Lethe. Lethe. It's a cool borderless. That's an awesome borderless. Ascension to the Seraphim. It's a good card, too. I like that from me, Angels. Like I was wanting to play the new Angels, but like I literally have not had anyone to get this on the board with. And I just have a hard time. Oh, shoot. There's my card. All right. For any of y'all that have been around with me for a hot minute, uh, I got a preview card for this game. Um for this set for Frontiers. And this was the preview card. I've still got my preview one sitting right up here. Actually, no, I moved it back there. That's right. I rearranged my office. There's a Legion's card that I got with my preview card that is right up there. But yeah, this was the Treasury of the Fallen Priestess. This is the one I got to preview. So that's awesome. That video is still up on my channel. Um, that was one of the coolest most fun things that I got to do. So Legion's team, uh, you know, I can never thank you enough for that. Uh, I just wish that on my end down here, Essence of Secrets, I'd been able to do better um, in getting to people to fall in love with it the way I had. Um, it was sort of a failing proposition locally for me, unfortunately. And, uh, and you know, I'm legitimately sorry. Arcana's blessings that more people immediately in my area couldn't catch my enthusiasm. Great deeds. There is Paradise Lost. 
That's another cool card. So many. I love in this game, as the game kept going, especially this set and then Empires. I loved opening. Um, the... All the different things you could find, all the different borderless, the extended art cards, inverted sunrise, that's cool. Another proclamation. Like with all that stuff, all the different neat versions of things that you could find that wasn't definitely necessarily like a rare card. You could still get another version of it, but it was a cool, fancy, collectible version of a card that was always neat rage Ooh, that's another cool card that i always liked the art on this card was actually one of my favorites with swift and uh the cons consume five to conscript from hand i like that one get something out on the field in an emergency I love the foil realm of ales in this set. That was Dominion of the Mystic Cinders. Just a couple packs left in this quick little Legions Realms at War revisit. Sort of apologizing to that team for ooh, another one of our essences. Not being around as much and not being able to keep things going on the Tennessee side in the United States. There's another realm. Ooh, pure seraphim power. Those are in the wrong stack. I'm a monster. But that's another card I like. So sweet. Yeah, I'm actually super happy with this. I wanted to have multiple copies of this. I think I only had two, including my preview copy. I may be misremembering that, but I wanted to keep my preview copy separate, um, kind of on my display shelf, um, and have two that would be like playable for my play collection, my, my play set. So if I'm remembering right, I would needed one more. If not, it's still an awesome looking card, but it excites me every time I get to see that one. So everybody, this has been me looking at Legion's Realms at War, opening some Bountiful Harvest and Frontiers again. First time in a long time. Uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, I can get some of the new set and maybe even some more Empires on the Rise. Talk a little bit more about this. Give another swing at getting some more locals into this thing because... It was so much, the game is fun and I just enjoy opening it because the art's fantastic. Uh, Taylor's lore um, is fantastic behind all of this. I, I enjoyed so much being a active part of this community. Um, like I really haven't gotten to be just because of the way things have fallen um, locally, but um Hopefully, hopefully, maybe I can get some people into this thing and get this, get this all revamped. In any case, I appreciate all y'all. I hope you uh, have a great rest of your day. Thank you for spending some of it with me. Uh, if you haven't, check out Legion's Realms at War. Uh, I honestly, I built a bunch of same thing that I've said for some of the other games. I built some decks. Uh, if you want freebies, basically, to give this a whirl, let me know. Um, I will send you some decks just to try out. Uh, I usually just ask somebody to pay shipping for that. Uh, but I, I've got a bunch of stuff made up. If somebody wants to try Legion's Realms at War, um, just based on this art, it looks awesome. The art was one of the things that sucked me into giving this a shot and it was even better in person. Um, if you're interested, I know I've already done my outro, but now I'm hyping the game again. If you want some to try and get started, let me know legions realms at war i've liked it a lot and i'd love to be able to get more people into it and get playing myself again in any case have a great rest of your day bye y'all